is coming up next and we've got two very special guests we've actually got with us right now richard and joe nice to see you both Hi, nice Good to see you both. <laughs> now you're the stars of the tv ad aren't you yeah somehow yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are. You are. we are yes we are right but you're not actors or anything like that are we're you? not we are normal normal people from the north oh from, where about you from we're from manchester manchester we're from, south, we're, from south, from. We're, we're from Knotsford, which apparently doesn't count Lovely. as being manchester <laughs> yeah. we have, we're pretend manx so yeah but we're from the north and uh, yeah but we, you were blue so, or a red well, I'm 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 an Aston Villa fan. Oh, I'm, oh, dear, I'm a red. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <these are> red. <laughs> how how did you end up being the stars of the TV advert? So you, you know, if you're not actors, how did it happen? Well, I think that's my fault because um, I saw an online advert, didn't tell him anything about it, which could it's not particularly good for a marriage, is it? But uh, I applied online and uh, left two months later. Got a phone call out the blue, and it's Princess saying, "Can you come down to do an audition?" At that point, I thought I'd better. Tell the other half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we got invited down to the audition and they chose us. And at that point, he absolutely knew he was going on his first cruise. So, so that was it. So you won this, in yeah. essence, didn't you? And Basically. you got to your first cruise. Correct. And Which I was you, amazing. And I gather you really enjoyed it. I loved it. Well, I yeah. tell you what, if you've not absolutely. seen the advert, it is fabulous. No scripts or anything, was there? That, that was partly part, part of the problem, wasn't it? There, there was absolutely no script. It, they followed us from the minute we got up, we went on excursions to going out at night so it was it was literally followed from the minute you got up to the minute That's you went terrible. to bed <laughs> yeah film the whole thing and totally unscripted right. and, and this is what they well, came out with let's have a look at it here it is the princess cruise advert it's so easy to lose perspective and sometimes we just don't take time to enjoy each other's company because we're always working or there's something going on that gets in the way and start looking at our our own work-life balance and, and trying to get it balancing more in favour of, of the life parts. It's given us the opportunity to just be a couple again. No responsibilities, it's just us. As well as seeing these great places and having these amazing experiences, we're also learning new things and, and picking up something new every day. It's injecting a bit more fun and, and laughter back into the relationship. It's like having the old Joe and Richard back. Oh, I want to go back. Oh <laughs> Just Great watching memories. it. <laughs> well, I, I cruised myself for the, uh, for the first time with Princess last year and I loved it. What did you love about Princess? I think it was just completely, I mean, I didn't even know we were going and I've never thought about going cruising before. So to turn up with the preconception that this is really going to be for old people and it's going to be very formal it's the perception stayed yeah and it just absolutely blew me away and we've just had an amazing time this hopefully comes over in now we loved everything there's nothing you, there's so much to do from the, all the mm. food come back a little fatter so the, the people recommend to take um elasticated waist trousers i think that's a <laughs> i think i think that's a must <laughs> if you go on your first cruise because you, <laughs> you you do get a little portly don't you but uh, it's just all the activities from the swimming pools to the gym to anything and, and we made it at the standard of service and it was incredible of food, isn't it, it? it is like a floating resort yeah. a five-star resort and, and you wake up somewhere different every day without having to repack your suitcase and unpack somewhere else. It's, it's uh, amazing. And you're hooked now, aren't you? Completely. Yeah. 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 Completely converted, yeah. 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 We yeah. are, we're booking again and, and yeah, total converts. I know. Well, love it here from. Let's take you on board as well because this is a beautiful ship. It's one of their latest actually, isn't it, Justin? Yeah, you know, she's an absolute beauty. She was actually launched in uh, June 2013 by Kate Middleton just before uh, yes. she had uh, 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 Prince George. Um, and this is the skywalk that you just saw. Uh, just an amazing experience. If you're brave enough, you can actually walk 128 feet above the ocean um, over the glass floor. So absolutely stunning. The thermal spa, um, I experienced, so obviously Princess being the American side of P&O, the thermal mm. spas were absolutely to die for. That's so comfortable. Look at the size I mean, of the atrium as well. Fantastic uh, eateries as well. You've got Sabatini's, the Italian, you've got the Sterling Steakhouse, uh, and also Movies Under the Stars. If you love your movies, uh, when it's really good weather, they'll actually project high definition movies out on deck and you can lay outside on the lounges with little fleeces and your popcorn. And your popcorn. Yeah, yeah. you've got to have your popcorn um, and just in enjoy it, as it says, uh, a movie underneath the stars. But it's the ports that you go into on this one. This is what I call a classic Mediterranean cruise with a little twist. 
as well because some of the ports are just fantastic. Flying out of Gatwick over to Rome, um, and of course this is your embarkation port, um, you're actually going to go straight to Naples, which is your first port of call. Um, and this was the birthplace of pizza. This is where you've got to go for a really thin mm. and crispy pizza. Brilliant for coffees. All I'd say is, I'll warn you, if you like your coffees and you think that, oh, I can handle the espresso, you haven't had an espresso until you've been here. Also, this is your port of call to do all of the big days, which I know Joe and Richard did um, across to Capri. Uh, if you want to do Pompeii, Mount Vesuvius, Herculania, uh, you've got all of that that you can do there. Um, then we're off to Crete. Now, this is just fantastic. Real history that you've got here. Um, and you're actually going to go to the mythical home of the Minotaur as well. So if you love all of those old movies, uh, you can relive a little bit of uh, sort of you know Greek mythology there. Um, this is actually a port that was actually sold um, for a thousand silver coins. And I tell you what, it, it just doesn't even scratch the surface. Look at the blue oceans oh. there. Absolutely stunning. Then you're going to go off to Kuzadasi. Uh, now this is brilliant. If, again, if you're into your history, you've got to book a tour here, which Planet Cruise does and does very well as well. Remember, the people that you're speaking to have been there and have done that. They'll recommend the best tours. You can go and see the great theatre. You can go and see the tomb as well. Um, it's just an um, amazing experience. Then you've got an overnight on board. I used to love overnights on, on the, uh, the cruises. You're going to be overnight in Istanbul. You've got the whole sailing of the Bosphorus, so you've got the Florence Nightingale barracks up on the uh, up on the banks. You've got the fantastic mosque there, and of course this is the setting for so many different Bond films, from Russia with Love, Skyfall. Um, you can get a suit tailored there. You can get an authentic kebab. It is just fantastic. Now, from the hustle and bustle of Istanbul to the absolute tranquility and beauty of Mykonos, this is stunning. I'm telling you now, this is a hidden gem. You're famous for all of your whitewash walls, the famous uh, the windmills down the bottom. Uh, again, we're talking about films with, uh, with Istanbul. The Bourne Identity actually finished up here. At night, it is one of the best nightlifes here, but in the daytime, it's the place to be seen and to be seen to be glamorous. So make sure you dress up nicely there. Uh, then you're going to be going to Athens. Now, I can't believe we've, we completely forgot about the Athens deal, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Um, if How you want would to, you... Now, if you want to stay, and this sounds a bit... It sounds too too good to be true, but two nights in a four-star hotel, thirty-nine pounds per person. Yeah, should we just say that again? Yeah, shall we? Thirty-nine pounds per, per person. person for the two nights, not yeah. per night. So that's twenty pounds per night, and that's yeah. based on the tenth of September departure. But doing is about that extra stay. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, um, and to, to experience Athens as well. I mean, you've got the fantastic history there. Of course, you've got the Acropolis there. You've got the Placa. You can go and see some of the great um, uh, shopping areas. It really is a great experience. So definitely ask our call centre about that. Let's just see this beautiful ship one final time. The Royal Princess, absolutely stunning, and set only uh, you know only launched in 2013. That's at Class Walkway, isn't it? Yeah, Skywalk. Yeah. Would you do it? Oh, mm. definitely. Got yeah. it. I'm not too sure when the waves are coming up. <laughs> no, I definitely will. Do you know what? The thing is, they'll have people actually washing those windows and making sure the salt's all off of it. It's yeah, great. It's we, they're always painting the ship in port as well, just to make sure it's absolute pristine condition, because that is what cru cruising is all about. Um, I've got to say, this is the ship that I really want to go on at the moment. Mm. It really is. Um, now, we have got exclusive pricing as well. Just to remind you that, that that is, say, exclusive to Planet Cruise. You can add on the two nights stay in a four star hotel in Athens for only £39 per person. That's based on the 10th of September. Return flights based from London Gatwick, but we can, of course, find you flights from most UK airports. And look at the price on this. Bear in mind, you know, it's such a beautiful new ship. We've got prices starting at just £799. If I was you, Look at the upgrades to the balcony. For £100 more, you can have your own private balcony. Now, can I just say, Joe and Richard, thank you. No, You're thank welcome. you, guys. Thanks, and if anybody out there is thinking about taking the first cruise, take the plunge, yeah, book it. I mean, that's a credible, incredible deal, isn't I mean, it? We, so were, I mean, book we, it. we were talking earlier, you know, once you've done your first one, you are hooked. They are amazing. Completely. And Princess, such a great company. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I hope to see you again. Thank you ever so much, guys. I hope to see you on a cruise. Yeah, you <laughs> I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's probably a very good chance of that, but thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> now, um, our, our next cruise is with another top favourite. It's actually with Celebrity Cruises, isn't yeah. it? So, let's take you on board. 